by Ken Sweet Associated Press New York, the former CEO of failed cryptocurrency firm FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, was arrested Monday in the Bahamas at the request of the U.S. government, U.N. Bahamian authorities. Bankman Fried had been under criminal investigation by the two countries following the collapse last month of FTX. The firm filed for bankruptcy on November 11, when it ran out of money after the cryptocurrency equivalent of a bank run. Earlier this evening, Bahamian authorities arrested Samuel Bankman Fried at the request of the U. Government, based on a sealed indictment filed by the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, U. Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement Monday. He said he expected the indictment would be unsealed Tuesday. Bankman Fried's arrest comes just a day before he was due to testify in front of the House Financial Services Committee, along with the company's current CEO, John Ray III. Bahamian Attorney General Ryan Pinder said the Bahamas would promptly extradite Bankman Fried to the U once the indictment is unsealed and U authorities make a formal request. Meanwhile, Bahamian authorities plan to continue their own investigation into Bankman Fried. The Bahamas and the United States have a shared interest in holding accountable all individuals associated with FTX who may have betrayed the public trust and broken the law, Bahamian Prime Minister Phil. FTX was headquartered in the Bahamas, and since its failure Bankman Fried has remained in his luxury compound in Nassau. Separately, the Securities and Exchange Commission said it also plans to file charges Tuesday against Bankman Fried for violating U securities law. Bankman Fried, who is one of the world's wealthiest people on paper, went from king of cryptocurrencies to his arrest in a month. FTX was the second largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world before it went bankrupt, but the exchange intermingled customers' deposits with its investment arm, Alameda Research. Before its failure, Bankman Fried was a prominent personality in Washington, donating millions of dollars toward mostly left-leaning political causes and Democratic political campaigns. Ray the new CEO of FTX in bankruptcy and a longtime restructuring specialist, has said in court filings that the financial conditions at FTX were worse than at Enron.